Hello, it's Dr. Triple Seven, and in today's video, I'll be showing you guys how to control your mouse and keyboard using an Xbox controller. Now, you may ask, why would you want to use this? And yes, you are correct that a mouse and keyboard are much more accurate when it comes to typing or moving the mouse. But there are certain scenarios where sometimes the Xbox controller is just a little more handy. So for example, for me at least, when I'm on the couch and the computer's pointing to the TV and I'm playing like a racing game, or I'm just using the Xbox controller, it's nice to be able to just use the Xbox controller to launch the game and not have to switch between the keyboard and mouse. So, with that said, let's get started. So the first thing you'll need is obviously an Xbox controller. The easiest way to hook this into your computer is just via USB. If you do have a wireless controller and no USB cord, you can purchase a wireless dongle that will allow it to connect to the computer. Um, but me, I have mine plugged in via simple USB. Now, once you have that downloaded or once you have that set up, what you'll need to do is head, head over to this GitHub website. I'll have it in the description below. It's for software called Gopher. Now, there are many different kinds of software that look a lot better than Gopher, but for simple functionality of being able to control the mouse and keyboard, there's nothing better than Gopher. It's simple. You run it once. It just instantly works. And like I said, there's literally no setup. So what you want to do is scroll down to the latest release and just hit download right there. It's a literally a half megabyte file, so it shouldn't take too long. After that, what you want to do is just right click Gopher, run as admin, and just say yes to the admin rights. It'll have a couple of things in one link on the console, and it'll give you a good beep when it's ready to go. Now you can take your controller and just move the, the, or the wheel around, and you'll see the mouse action moves. So now you can use the A button to right or to left click as if you're using a mouse. Now, if you want to use a keyboard, you can pull up the Windows keyboard or on-screen keyboard if you just search it in your start menu. And you can also use the cursor to go over it and type something if you must type something quick. Anyways, guys, that is pretty much it. So I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, you can leave those below. And of course, if you have any suggestions for future tech videos, then definitely leave those below as well. Otherwise, guys, thanks for watching. Link will be in the description below, and I'll see you in my next video. This is Hacker 7 and I'm signing off.